This is a Bergen Film Club podcast. Like an old movie, removed from the frame, I am floating and looking for someone to blame. Won't you project me on the walls of your heart? Hello, welcome to The Real Thing. I'm your host, Joe Lawrence, and this is our first BFK board recommendation episode. Yay. Yay. Who was that? <laughs> Who is <Hello>? it? <laughs> um, I'm not going to introduce you. No, um, okay. <laughs> so, in these episodes, I'm going to be talking with our board members from BFK um, and asking them who are they, what do they do, and hopefully tell us what they would like us to watch, what they can recommend. So, today, I'm with Carolina. Hello. Hamburg. Hey. I'm here again. Again? No, this is the first time. Oh, uh, I first time on the podcast. Yeah. Never been here. Welcome. Never recommended anything for the mm. podcast. Ever. No. Okay. So first, tell me about who are you? Who oh, is Carolina? Who am I? Yeah. That's a good question. I'm mm. trying to figure that one out yeah. myself. Mm-hmm. But uh, BFK Carolina yeah. is... Uh, responsible for the PR mm. on social media so Instagram and Facebook posts um, advertisement you see on social media that is me yes Th- that is I mm. yes how long have you been on the board uh, 400 I... years <laughs> <laughs> so I joined the board in um, winter of 2020 so like January February yeah. of 2020 mm-hmm. and I joined us PR Yes. And then this small little thing happened. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Just a tiny little thing happened. So we were kind of close for a little bit. Yeah. Uh, the pandemic. Yes. Uh, COVID pandemic. Um, so things kind of calmed down. And then suddenly we lost our volunteer responsible during that time. Not <laughs> like lost, lost. Yeah. Uh, she moved back home. Okay. Uh, and since I had been a volunteer before because i started in bfk as a volunteer Mm. so i joined technically august 2018 yes been for years man i know and um i took over the volunteer position and then i did volunteer and pr at the same time that was a lot Mm. (laughs) i thought it would be fine but another board member were like no it's not gonna be fine (laughs) yeah in like two months Mm -hmm. he was right yes uh so then i was just volunteer responsible for a little bit had a breakdown and said i can't do this anymore mm-hmm. <laughs> as a volunteer responsible uh it's a very fun job but it was a lot at the time sure so i went back to pr and uh i have been pr since oh when did i do start with pr i think fall 2020 okay i think i yeah. got back into the pr position and uh, it's a very nice position i really like it you're very good at it thank you mm. So, the whole concept of this, of, uh, this little mini episode mm-hmm. is that I, I want the board members to seem more, uh, not like the gods on Olympus, <laughs> and more accessible <laughs> and friendly. But yes, so just to have the board be a bit more personable, so if you're a volunteer, hi! hi. <laughs> this is Carolina, she's a board member, I'm a board member, and we'll have more board members on so you can know who we are and mm-hmm. what we're watching and yeah yeah i'm gonna hit you with a horrible question and then you can do your recommendations okay what's your favorite movie (gasps) oh my god i don't know what's your favorite movie right now in this instance Uh, you have five seconds to answer millennium mambo okay yeah that's the one i could think about huge okay yeah which we are showing yeah we are this semester of bfk Mm. uh it's either that or house moving castle oh yeah Mm -hmm. very good very good answer Mm -hmm. okay Hit me with your recommendations. So, I have been thinking about this a lot. Mm. Like, I I want to seem cool 
with what I'm recommending. Mm. Um, probably not, but here I am anyway. So first one, it's like a mini series on uh, Netflix. But mm-hmm. You can probably find it online somewhere. Online, somewhere. Yeah. Corporations uh, are evil. Yes, uh, and it's uh, I'm gonna bust the name Pokemon Concierge. Concierge, and it's the cutest <laughs> show. I have seen, I almost cried multiple times Mm. just over how cute the style of the show is. Mm -hmm. So uh, in this, uh, it's very, it's just like 72 minutes in total with all the episodes. So it's very quick and easy. Um, So um, we join uh, Haru, Mm. who becomes like, um, starts a new work at a Pokemon resort. Yeah. So her job is her basically being like taking care of Pokemon mm-hmm. and uh, and other guests that is on the resort and it's very like she's kind of freaking out because she doesn't know what to do she wants to do a good job and is so obsessed with like doing a good job in like the mindset of very like corporate jobs mm-hmm. well here it's just you're supposed to just have fun and if you have fun the Pokemons will have fun and it's just so like very lovely and yeah the the style of the show is so cute mm. and it's just very calming yeah and i had such a good time with it so definitely would recommend that one i don't think you have to be that into pokemon either to enjoy this it's show. just cute it's just very cute mm. so definitely yeah great that one mm-hmm. you should see uh, if you happen to find yourself a fan of the the voice actress who mm-hmm. plays haru um, that is Karen Fuguhara, mm-hmm. um, who provides her voice in the English dub of oh. Boy and the Heron. Oh. And she does an amazing job. Fun. Yes. She plays Lady Himmy, the fire girl. That's cool. Mm. Okay. And she's great. Didn't know it. that. Yeah. Wow. Fun. Yeah. Actual voice actor doing actual voice acting work. That is so unheard of. Absolutely. <laughs> mm. Lately. Yeah. <laughs> um okay so uh what else what else what else i saw a found footage i love found footage films Mm -hmm. and uh, a couple of days ago i watched uh, the mcpherson tape okay which is a found footage from 1989 wow so this is like pre blair witch i think when was blair witch released again probably after that yeah i think so i think blair witch was the nine, 1999 yeah. yeah wow so pre Blair Witch mm-hmm. and this is um, uh, so we visit this family uh, are they called McPherson no they're not <laughs> <laughs> there's a family uh, one of the guys have received a new video camera and keeps recording yeah and then uh, suddenly the power goes out and they're like what the fuck is happening so he and his two brothers they're celebrating like this little girl's birthday and the power goes out and people are like what's what's happening it's probably a fuse mm-hmm. they go out and then they see this like red light <laughs> just going down by some of the neighbors and they're like what the fuck is happening they live kind of in the middle of forest so they start walking mm-hmm. to find out what it is and then they see aliens what <laughs> So it's an alien found footage from 1989. Wow, that's cool. And it's kind of like, it's a bit goofy. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. <laughs> and it's ve- a lot of like, it's how I imagine brothers interact. They're like okay. talking over each other all the time. Mm. It's like when they're in with the whole family, it's like two conversations happening at once. It's, it's Which is kind of like tiring, but it's still very fun. Mm. Of course, it's not perfectly made. Of course, you can see that the aliens are not real. <laughs> what? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Shocking. <laughs> it's your classic gray men alien oh, yeah. type of masks. Fun. But it's still super fun. Yeah. And definitely check it out if you like found footage. Mm. I feel like it's a little found footage gem. Yeah, cool. So definitely that one. Yeah. I, uh, I feel like... I like a lot of found footage, but I find the acting always to be like porn line reads. I understand it's, what you mean. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how better to explain it. I watched no. The Bay 
recently, mm -hmm. which is found footage, and I really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. But some of the acting was like two cops pulling up to a house. Oh, maybe we should check that out. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Why don't we do that? <laughs> yeah, we should get out of the car and maybe investigate. Like, yeah, it can come like the director being like, please act natural. Yeah. And they're like, okay, uh, how does a human being act? <laughs> <laughs> I think it might be very difficult to make found footage. Yeah, films, I imagine. Because you have to just act normally. Yeah, and it's supposed and to be very realistic. Mm. Uh, it seemed like with the McPherson tapes, people thought it was real when oh, it came out. Wow. Because uh, like it was the end of the eighties. <laughs> mm. Like, of course, people are going to be like, "What the fuck? This mm. is real." Um, but yeah, sometimes the acting can be a bit like, "What are you doing? Yeah. What What is happening here?" Um, speaking of, I do want to quickly recommend one more found footage and then be done. And it's Creep. I love Creep. I love Creep. <clears throat> that f is probably in my like top five scariest films. <laughs> it's so much fun. It's so scary. It's scary, but it's so much fun. Oh, it it sets me it sets me off. Like, <laughs> it, I just want to cry. It's so scary. Mark Duplass. <laughs> like I feel I'm doing your recommendation sorry you <laughs> no it's fine he's just so unpredictable yeah and he plays that character so well it, it he it's does it's so frightening it's uh his character Joseph <gasps> so Me. oh my god it's you yes uh so the thing is that uh Joseph is uh hiring someone to film him because he's dying of cancer and he wants to have a film to his children mm. and uh he invites this guy over he's paying him like a thousand dollars to do it yeah and then we just follow him around <laughs> yeah just being insane yeah for some reason when i see joseph i think about andy from the office he has like <laughs> a similar <laughs> vibe to him right. yeah <laughs> that is just it's so scary peach fuss keeps me up at night <laughs> But you have to watch, like, if you're listening, you have to watch you it. You have it's to. So, it's just, such a good film. It is. Yeah. It's so much fun. And the second one is just as fun, I think. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, I just watched them both pretty recently, actually. Yeah. Mm. No, please do watch them. They're super fun, both yeah. of them. In the second one, I feel like the uh, like the girl who was introduced, I can't remember her name right now. She is the true crime community on Tumblr. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she, absolutely. Yes. And that's all I'm going to say about the second normal one. Normal people Just scare me. Yeah, her. Yeah. Yes. Her. The embodiment of normal people scare me. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so please. Yes. Watch it. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think I'm going to stop there. Okay. <laughs> Just getting a couple out there. Yeah. Just please, please watch that's them. That's been very good. That's uh, kind of... I'm kind of surprised he didn't throw an anime in there. but uh. I was... <laughs> Now that you said it, mm. <laughs> I'm reading Chainsaw Man. Yeah. I have recommended the anime before. Yeah. But now I'm reading the manga. Cool. It's great. Yeah. Read it. No. It's <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. And like one one manga takes like less than an hour to read. So okay. it's like my nightly routine now. It's just reading a new one. Cool. <laughs> while in bed and nice. then go to sleep. And it, oh, it's so good. Yeah. Yeah. So okay, Chainsaw cool. Man, the yeah. manga. Great. Well, thanks for doing this. Of course. Hope uh, hope everyone feels really, really connected to you. Right? Yeah, yeah, I like scary found footage yeah. and anime. anime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm single. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all they got from this. Don't be afraid at the next BFK screening to just go up to Curly <laughs> and ask her out. I'm going to be scared, but you don't <laughs> have to be. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Thank Carolina. you. Goodbye. Bye. This has been a Birkin Film Club production. Our music is by Wise John. Check them out on Instagram at WISE John Official. Our logo is by Pierre Sophia Brentesen. This episode was produced, mixed, and engineered by Joel Lawrence. Our researchers are Inke Shilpkai Bern and Mamina Naz Majid. Want to talk to us about films? Then please send us an email at podcast at birkinfilmclub.com. Follow the show on Instagram and Twitter at TheRealThingPod. Check us out on Letterboxd at BFK The Real Thing. Thank you and goodbye. Listen, follow, leave us a review on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, or wherever it is that you get your podcasts.